Yeah, it may look like a stick, but really, this is something you might want to consider keeping in your bag. It's the eye stabilizer. Hey YouTubers, it's Back Focus 11 here from my undisclosed location. Today we're going to take a look at this eye stabilizer. These handheld monopods have been going crazy on the internet. People have been taking them and going to the top of skyscrapers with GoPros on the end, cameras on the end, doing these awesome selfie shots. And let me tell you, these things are affordable and it's something you should have in your camera bag. We ordered the eye stabilizer directly from the factory and it came in this packaging along with a free XL mount for the larger iPhone. And that packaging, well, you're not going to be able to open it with your hands. Placing the eye stabilizer in the included mount is a fairly easy task, but you can see here with this iPhone 5, we placed it against the volume button. With newer phones like this iPhone 6 Plus, it fits well in the XL mount and you gotta love that big screen. Now at the end of the eye stabilizer monopod itself is this soft cushiony grip and this carrying strap. And on the other side of the eye stabilizer, you'll find this quarter inch tripod mount, kind of like a ball head you'd find on a regular camera tripod. It will fit the eye stabilizer camera mount or any one quarter inch mount on a camera. Opening and closing the eye stabilizer is fairly easy. Just a quarter turn, pull the pole out, and a quarter turn to lock. When the pole is collapsed, it's still over 14 inches long. Not something you want to put in your pocket when you're not using it. Okay, now it's time to take this eye stabilizer out for a test. I got it mounted right now. This is a Canon Vixia Mini X camera, by the way. And it's mounted on the end of the eye stabilizer monopod. I have it extended all the way out. That's that three foot length. And I'm holding it with my right hand. And I'm walking at like normal pace. I'm wearing flip flops, it's, you know, kind of a dirt terrain here. So it's not the most even surface I'm walking on. And you can see it really stabilizes the camera out great. It gives you a nice like point of view perspective. Like almost like if someone's in front of you and you can kind of just show them around the whole background, kind of spinning around here, getting messy. Easy. And now I'll go back the other way. I'll pick up the pace. I'll walk a little bit faster. And we'll see here how this works. There is a little bit of in image stabilization inside this Canon Vixia Mini X. I have it in the crop mode where it does a little bit of image stabilization. What I'll do is I'll shut it off and I'll put it in wide angle mode. It'll have like a fisheye look, kind of like a GoPro. And you can see it's a little bit wider angle. And if I hold it out, then you can start seeing my arm and everything else and much wider perspective. So you might not want to have it extended out all the way for a super wide angle lens. If you want to have that arm out look kind of like that. <clears throat> this is the perspective you'd get with a GoPro lens. I have the Vixia Mini X now back in the fisheye mode. And you can see my arm protruding out. So you probably don't even need to have it out all the way. You could probably get away with it. I collapsed about half the eye stabilizer. And there we go. That's about half of it collapsed. So it's a lot easier to actually hold because there's less leverage on it because the uh, tube is not as long. You can even use the eye stabilizer for perspective shots like this overhead pan out. Nice little perspective of your feet walking. Thank God you can't smell them. Overall, I really like this selfie stick. I'm gonna rate it four out of five stars, and that's because it has a lack of portability. It's just a little too big to carry around in your pocket. Thanks for checking out my review, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Running along, getting my exercise. Check out my channel for more videos to come in the future. And thanks for tuning in to Back Focus 11. It's very rocky and dirty here, so if I fall right on my tukis, well, enjoy. <laughs> GoPro on the ends of these things. A people just climb into the top of skyscrapers and they put this thing out and, blah, 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 and they poof, 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 poof. Today we're gonna take a look at these. These, these. We're gonna take a look at these. Yeah.